Yeah, let's just walk away from that. Let's just not even pay it attention. It can't hurt you if it doesn't know you exist. Oh no, not Zombie Ted. He was only three weeks from retirement. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. So in the last episode we found out that uh, Chris is still alive, I mean if you play the order I've played him in that's pretty obvious, and now we're playing as Claire as she is on her way to save him, who has been captured by Umbrella. Because at this point they still have secret bases around. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, Umbrella are one of those villains companies that I feel like should have been defeated by now. <laughs> Like, how much money do they even have at this point? Okay, Silver Crest is carved it. Okay, so another locked door. And we've come into this mansion, and I, I don't like this. This is giving me Resident Evil 1 vibes, and I like that. I always liked the uh, first game, uh, the remake of that, to be fair. I've never played the original. And we unlocked this door last time. Also, I've actually been on holiday for... Uh, yeah, I've been on holiday for a week, so I might be a little rusty when it comes to the controls. Oh. Yep. Why do you not stay dead? Alright. Alright then. And really? Fuck off. And I think. Oh, no, I still had ammo in it. It looked like from an angle that the. Uh, cartridge was out. Alright, got more handgun bullets, and while we're at it, let's actually just, um, yeah, get a few bullets. Ah, oh, I never put those ink ribbons away. Hold on a second. <laughs> just gotta drop these ink ribbons. But yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the first game's remake. I thought that was a lot of fun. And the Silver Crest. Okay, so obviously, I'm gonna have to get a key for these doors. But yeah, the first game was a really great game. It had great horror, it had great enemies to fight, a lot of scares. Which is what I always look for in a Resident Evil game. Like, I like to be scared when I'm playing games, and you know, you can also make them fun. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I think here's the thing: Resident Evil games like Resident Evil Four and Five, and maybe even Six, they could be fun. But I just don't think they really feel like a Resident Evil game, like the remakes or Resident Evil Seven and Eight. Also, can I just smash these and get the guns? Nope, I'm going out the door. You know, I would think, you know, just smash those open, uh, Claire, and get yourself a little blade. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright. Um, oh, you look important. A jewel modelled after the ant is displayed here. There is a button below it. Hmm, now history with me and buttons never ends well. But I'm going to push it anyway. Oh, it's gone all cinematic. Ooh, speaking of cinematic. Malfoy? Female Malfoy. Ooh. That's... <laughs> Don't look at me like that while you're butchering a poor fly. Listen, I don't like those little pieces of shit as much as you do. It to pull off its wings like that is a bit messed up. Ooh. That was a dragonfly. That's even harsher, man. I got some real incest vibes from watching that. Uh, before we head in there, let's actually have a look at this end of the room. See, there's. Ah, oh, can't get through because of that bloody thing. Uh, an aeroplane. A model fighter plane is displayed here. No button to push, sadly. Alright, uh, visual references are placed here. War seems to be the primary theme. Um, I kind of gathered that from the room. <laughs> you know, read the room, Claire. No, let's have a look in this secret room. Oh, that looks like something I can grab. It's steering wheel. <laughs> okay, in what context would I look at that and think, hmm, this looks important? Uh, let's have a little checkeroo. We'll use the steering ship. It has a octa shaped prop. Okay. I'm assuming I can use this for something. 
Oh, okay. Well, I, ju I just know it has a shape at the end of it I can use. Ooh, can I take these two pistols? A pair of gold lugers are displayed here. Take them? Uh, yes. It has no bullets in it. There Ooh. Oh. Oh, something tells me I did a boo-boo. Let's, um, let's quit. Yep, yep, let's, uh, yep, place them. Hmm. Wonder if I could use those dual pistols I have to do something about that. Okay, alarm, I put them back. Jesus Christ, you moaner. Alright, so, evidently this guy was a war hero. Okay, why not take the guns, Claire? Listen, I know they're muskets and stuff like that, it doesn't mean they're not useful. Alright, so some okay, so something open here. I think I'll need my dual pistols, actually. The dual pistols I found earlier. Let me actually try that. Didn't I bring them with me? Pretty sure I did. Let's just quickly uh, run and see if I remembered them. If not, I can do a quick run back to uh, where I last left them and then uh, see if I can use them here. They seem like something I could use here. Alright. Going upstairs, getting my dual pistols, just to see if I can get some gold dual pistols. It's kind of funny how um, this game introduced the um, dual weapon mechanic, yet it never made a resurgence in later Resident Evil games. I think the only one was Resident Evil 6, but that was with um, Leon. Alright then, so... Here we are. Nope. That half you... <laughs> Why must you make life so hard? Oh, fuck it. Space, give me. Also, I just realised, do I not have my- No, I do have my lighter, okay. It looked like for a moment I didn't have my lighter and I was thinking, that seems important. Alright, let's just quickly see if I can place these down and then uh, get those golden guns, which I'm thinking they're going to be useful for a puzzle. Alright then, golden eye guns, let's just take you. Yes, take them. Oh, oh I don't have enough room for it. Ah, shit. Is there anything? Ah, do you know? We'll come back for you. All right. Until we get room, let's actually do a bit more exploring. God damn it! I miss having the ability to upgrade my inventory slots. That was that was the best. So I I hear zombie. Yes, I do. All right, then, Sunny Jim, make my day. I keep hitting your arm. I accidentally shot you in the dick there. I do apologize, even for a zombie. You don't deserve that, mate. Mate, just stay dead, mate. Nope. Damn. God damn! I was trying to reload it. <laughs> well, the point is, you're dead now. You're bleeding from your anus, and now we're gonna. A gold crest is carved into it. Ah, of course it is. So I'm thinking actually I might need to melt those down with the, um... Ah, what is it? That security thing. I think, yeah, uh, with that thing I need to melt them down and uh, make them into keys, maybe? That's the vibe I'm getting. Alright, I think I've already been here. I'm trying to refresh my memory because, like I said, I was on away. Uh, I was away on holiday. Uh. Okay, it doesn't. Have I been here? I don't know if I have. Oh, there's no way I can really interact with. Uh, yep, nothing I can interact with. So I must have already been here. All right then. Um, hmm. I've explored everywhere that I could try. Yo, yeah, let me drop off something and then let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can then use those dual guns to get those gold, uh, classic weaponry. Oh, okay. It doesn't even give me the option to place my other guns there. Okay, so... I guess they were just specifically designed for those guns. Well... Alright, then, well then I'm lost, because uh, I've kind of explored everywhere. I mean, everywhere that I can get to. Hmm. Alright, uh, so how many times am I going to have to do a bit of exploration in other places? Oh, 
Hold on a minute, I just realised there's a red herb there. I'll take you. Thank you. Yeah! Oh. Help me! Steve? Steve? Oh. Very serious music's playing, but I I don't know where to go. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh. Yeah, the game didn't really speci specify where I needed to go. This way? Into the safe room? Uh, I... I don't know where to go. Oh, that's where the two guns go. Ah. Okay, then. Now I know this for next time. So now where is Steven? Steven! Wait, was Steven that dickhead that kept on mocking me? And he tried to take a pot shot at me? Maybe in here? Steven! Are you taking the poop? -poo? No, he is not taking the poop. -poo. Alright, I guess I'm just going to have to explore until I eventually find him. Oh, sounds like someone triggered the alarm. And I think I know where. Oh, feeling the heartbeat all of a sudden on my controller. Alright. Steven! Uh, oh my goodness. What? There's a message on the control board. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Okay. Um... What the fuck does this mean? Um, C, D, E, F, B? No response. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 wait, hold on. Maybe it has something to do with these. Um, so, okay, combat knives are displayed here. Okay, but two handguns are displayed here. What? What the fuck does this mean? I know these have something to do with it. So these are obviously. Uh, I I don't understand the clue. Is it like a number sequence? So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, game. You're not really being obvious. Uh, Steve is suffering. I, he's dying. I. Okay. Um. I, I don't know. I don't really know what this game is trying to say. So, C E D E F. A? Give me a clue, game! You can't just throw me into this and think I know it. Oh my god. Oh. It, it meant as in like two Man, pairs of guns. That was too close. What took right. you so long? I will admit I took a oh, while. Need those. Give them to me. Ugh. I will admit, it did take a while, Stephen. That was a simple puzzle, and I was stupid. Well, let's make a I... deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. I mean, I do have two uh, you know, pistols. Claire. But adios. But, hey, wait, Steve. I I have two automatic pistols, mate. Well, shit. Steve! Also, I don't know why he wants those pistols. Like, they're, they're useless. They have no ammo in them. <laughs> uh, whatever. Also, of all the weaponry you could have chosen, you don't think to try and... Ooh! Someone's trying to cat me. <laughs> That's an old-fashioned rifle, mate. How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? 
You let yourself be captured so you can lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't Were you that creepy guy who looked like he wanted to fuck his sister? I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's he has a badge of officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! <laughs> Claire still got the roaster. Is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. I am aware of this, mate. He's also dead. In Resident Evil Five, that is. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me. Uh, Claire, maybe you shouldn't stick out your head. Work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this guy. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to kill me, but you know what? He's an I like his accent. I love his <laughs> exaggerated attitude. <laughs> I'm guessing he ran out of ammo. That's why he ran away. <laughs> I'm guessing he's also that weird sibling from that uh, video I just saw. And if I'm going to have to have a fathom a guess, given the fact the game is called Code Veronica, that sister of his, I'm thinking it's Veronica. Um, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we need to get those pistols off uh, good old Staven. Also, this steering wheel, I think I might have an idea where it goes. So, uh... Oh, did I ever explore this way? Or did I just go into the house? Oh yes, I think this takes me to where I think the steering wheel goes. Slowly down the stairs I go. Here we go. Aha! Yes, I have the thing. Ta-da! Turn the steering wheel? Absolutely. Because why not? <laughs> I love the way she did that. Just. Pshoo! Huh. A bolt. Oh, submarine, actually. Okay. Even a better. Climb down the ladder? I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, forget about subtlety. Ooh, you are shining. It's a side pack. Carry more items you could just- <gasps> Yes! Oh my goodness! Was this the game that introduced inventory upgrade? Oh my god! Hallelujah! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Also, this is, uh, standing out. Huh? Oh. Well, that sucks. But, thank God! Move the lever? Yes! Did I do a bad? Feels like I done a bad. Uh, climb the ladder? Yeah. Also, it's been a while since I saved. That's, um, that's worrying. Ooh. I is somewhere. Somewhere not friendly. Oh goodness, please don't be enough a great white shark. That was one of the scariest enemies for me in Resident Evil 1's remake. Actually, no, the Hunters... Hunters, definitely. Oh. Kind of feel bad. I left my uh, pistol ammo in favour of the bone arrows. I thought I was going to go back into that other thing. Uh, I see some pistol ammo there, though, so... Oh, that's actually quite a few of them. Yeah, let's just quickly grab that. In fact, uh, let's just run past these guys and, ooh, fish, and just go through this door here first. <laughs> All 
right, right. And I think I should actually go back and exchange some uh, ammo because I made a mistake thinking I was going to be going into. You know, what? I don't trust you, bats. So. Uh... Ow, 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 you pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, get, 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 get off me, you zombie bat. At least I'm assuming you're a zombie. There we go. Oof, that actually hurt me pretty badly. What's even more worrisome is that, um... I am low on health. Alright, push the switch. Yeah, why not? Do you know what, actually, before I explore anymore, I think I am just going to rush back and, uh, you know, drop some things off and get some uh, health and also get some, uh, I'm going to save up my game. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I will explore that house a bit more, because maybe now I can actually explore it and uh, discover some things in it. Because uh, I'm worried this is like a, a later half of the game that I'm rushing to. And we still have yet to explore that house. Now that I've got more stuff that I can carry, I could also get all the other loot from it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Did I ever explore this door? It's locked from the other side. Okay, maybe I did and I got killed. I'm trying to remember. All right. Well, the dogs are dead now, so I can explore this place and get that really crappy bow and arrow weapon. All right. So let's trigger all the events that uh, got this place on lockdown in the first place. I'm slowly remembering why I didn't like this bow and arrow option. Because in the end, the zombies end up catching me anyway. Uh, yeah, I definitely much prefer my uh, pistol. But for now, I might as well waste this ammo and the zombies in here. Uh, let's print off this map and then we'll uh, get to exploring. I guess the benefit of the crossbow is that, you know, I can store all my ammo into it and it just uh, takes out all of the... And yeah, I don't really need to reload as often. At the same time, they're not the best weaponry to deal with uh, the zombies, you know? Alright. Come on, die, die. Why won't you die? Shot him right in his butthole, the poor guy. <laughs> I wouldn't wish down a zombie. I just won't wish down anyone. Okay, so... Shut the valve. Alright, so if I remember, this gives me the key for the armory. But, uh... Again, it doesn't really help with, uh... Anything else. Wait a minute, that key... No, wait, I think I... Okay, yeah, it's broken. I think the key card was meant to be disposed of, but I forgot to do it, so I don't think I can use that on a uh... steam here. It's a sauna. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, because it's a uh... yeah, I was meant to dispose of it last episode, but I misclicked. So I don't think I could use the key card on that door. But now I'm still lost, though. How do I unlock that bio room to? Well, I don't know why I'd want to go in there. It seems like there's a hunter in there, probably saying worse. <laughs> but, yeah, no idea where else I'd go then. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go back down the submarine and see, uh... Uh, what lies ahead for me. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's unlock you. And get the explosive ammo. Yep, dispose of it, don't need that anymore. I definitely feel like I want to save that for the boss fights. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like special bolt ammo, which is this is specifically what the bolt for. Those little weak little ones you can use are just something added on top in case your pistol runs out. I always thought the knife was always meant to be like the second weapon you use. Alright, well, pretty much found everything I can. At least I think so. So, can't access you. Yep. So I guess we'll go back down the submarine and uh, see what's a boot. Alright you zombie bastards, I am back. And uh, I guess I never did a look over here, so uh, excuse me. Just take these bolts and bolt off. Uh, oh, you're still alive. Piece of shit. 
Oh, come on, those went right through you. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Ooh, is that ink ribbons? Indeed it is. All right, free, okay. All right, then. Uh, anything of use over here? Okay. Oh, I can open this. Usually shutters in these type of areas means bad news. Oh. Is that a cargo plane or a submarine? It's not a cargo plane, but submersed in water. Kind of a faulty design option. Alright, and uh... Let's see what's on this side. Alright, now that I'm making progress, I am slightly enjoying the game. And this red light probably means... Strong power of shutters, mark it above. Key K402. Okay then, so obviously I'll need to open that somehow. Ooh, something be sparkling down there. How does one get down there though? Completely blocked by a load. Ah, I see a crane up there, so obviously I'm meant to uh, operate that to get it moving. Then let us get it moving, mate. Reminds me of that section in Resident Evil 4 when you had to operate the crane. And then uh, I mostly just used it to kill the special zombies and just met them plummet to their doom. Alright. That's alright. Keep it moving. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Alright. How do I um, get it to move, though? Oh, it does it automatically. Yep, we still need to get it further on there. Okay, don't, don't give up on it. Oh my goodness, it resets. Oh, balls I Do not let go of the lever. No. Yeah, no, no, ah, you. Okay, it operates just like the crane in those uh, old games, like the theme park games, uh, when you want to win a plush toy, but then it's rigged so you can't win a plush toy. Except for that one time I won a Superman plushie for my little cousin. Alright, then now wait for it to get completely over. And boom! There we are. Uh, personally, I'd say drop it down the pit just in case that might fall and crush us. Alright. Yeah, we'll just leave it there, that's fine. Alright. There's a warning sign above it. Lift may not operate it's if low powers are low. I haven't saved in a while, and I feel like this is going to cause me to die. Claire, are you? Oh! Oh! No, uh, Claire, yeah, I was going to say, maybe run. Okay, uh, you know what? I think now's a good time to dish out the explosives, you know? Just a, just a hunch. Okay, not the one I was aiming for. There we are. Okay, I don't want to waste any more of that, so let's just, um, switch to regular ammo now. Pretty good, uh, shots, though. Alright. Uh, no, let me at least, let me at least see them. Come on. Please die, please die. Nope, quick turn! Okay. Man, these guys are in military uniform, so, uh, yeah, they didn't really stand a chance. Ah, damn it. Yeah, headshot, headshot. Yeah. <laughs> your hard hat did not save your... Uh, nice. I actually do like the fact you can... Uh, I will say the bow and arrow may not be as strong as my regular uh, pistol, but the fact I can combine all my ammo into this one bolt is handy. Alright, now what are you? Alright. <gasps> Bio has a card. Oh, I think I know what to do with you. Alright, thank you guys. You have a good one. It was a blast. I think before I go though, I definitely want to check out that other area I was at before I uh, lift. I heard bats. 
bats usually mean zombie bats. Or maybe they're not zombie bats. Maybe I'm just killing innocent bats that are just <laughs> chilling. I'm just shooting them in the face. Alright, then. Alright. So, I will admit, yeah, I'm getting into this game now. You know, it took me a while because it really felt like I wasn't making any progress at all. And, ah, no, I was wrong. You guys are not nice bats. You're not nice. Ah, fuck off, you bastards. Okay, okay, come on. Seriously, how is it I was able to hit you before, but now I can't? Oh my god, really? Seriously, why can I not hit? I was hitting you guys so easily before. Now all of a sudden, I can't even hit one. Oh, I do what that's it. I'm getting out the knife. Nope, I just cannot hit them. Game, I was just in the middle of complimenting you. Don't, don't let me hate you now, <laughs> please. Right, I said nope. Dual pistols. Oh, come on, these bats are so annoying. Wow, all my health just gone. Okay, why couldn't I hit them before, despite the fact I was nailing them the other time? That was bullshit beyond any level. Uh, yeah, pull the switch. Here, well, that's something that seems to be missing. Okay, so there's no point coming here. I just lost health for no reason at all. That was bullshit. <sighs> or maybe the bow and arrow is just not the way of hitting bats. Maybe it has to be pistols. I mean, I managed to hit one, so why couldn't I hit the others? Right after I was starting to compliment again, saying, all right, it's fun. They just have those bats that annoy me. It reminds me of those really annoying crow enemies in uh, the first game, which they weren't f they weren't scary or anything like that. They were just annoying to fight. <laughs> Seriously, fuck those things. Alright then. Let's head back and uh, use this key card on uh, the mansion. You know, I know this is a video game and all that, and it would be easier if they added this, but um, given the fact all these people seem to work for Umbrella, why did I need to go out my way to find a specific key card where surely any one of these staff members has a key card to get into facilities? Yep. Um excuse me. Hello Tremors. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, I ain't fighting that. <laughs> nope. Nope, just nope. <laughs> nope. I am not fighting that. I don't think I can fight it. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just uh let's just use this. What? No need to use it right now. What isn't this the key card for here? Is it for you? Uh card is less like Oh, okay. Why for, only for this one though? Oh, clearly I still need the key cards. It didn't give me an option to drop it. Wait, did I just get locked in? Balls! Okay, then. Okay, so worms are in this game. <laughs> Tremors! My favourite film. Seriously, if you've never seen the Tremors film, you're missing out. It's such a good film. Oh, God, look who's back. Back again. And he's aiming right for my booty. <laughs> Come on, man! You had her right in your sight! Oh god! Ha ha! Miss me, bitch! Oh god. Okay, Okay, something tells me this is a boss fight and I need to... I walked right into the flame! Ha ha! You cannot shoot me when I go up the stairs! Ah, did he run away like a coward? Oh. Ah, is that... Okay, no, you're not for this, but... Ah, you ran away, didn't you? You little coward! Oh, feeling a heartbeat on this door. Okay, card reader, silver in the code. Okay, then. Find a pistol ammo. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to switch my pistol. Don't know if I should, actually. 
Alright, what was his name for? What was his name again? Was it? I know his last name was Alfred, but I don't remember the rest of it. Ooh, another safe room, wicked and. Huh? Have a stay. Ooh! Hmm. So I could use these. It's used to stop bleeding. Hmm. Should be used on someone who's wounded. Should I go back and help that guy? It seems to be implying I should. Eh, uh, he did let me go. Maybe I should. Eh, yeah, you know what, fuck it. Let me just save and we'll go and help that bleeding man. Alright then, you security guard that saved my life. I'm on my way to save your life. Even though I really shouldn't, but you know what? I'm a nice person. Sometimes. Actually, let's quickly look and see what's in here. Oh. I did a boo-boo. Ah, bollocks. The area you are in, a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that laugh? That's a laugh that would give the Joker run for his money. Also, more bullets? Didn't I take the bullets? Maybe the game decided to give me more and I didn't realise. Oh my god, die. <laughs> why is this loading screen taking a while? And why is their heartbeat louder than usual? Okay, that was a bit unnerving and completely unnecessary, to be honest. Uh, before I head down the stairs, anything else up here I can grab? Okay, ooh, oh! There's some machine gun. It isn't loaded. Oh. Can't take any more items. Well, sad. And I feel like I see its ammo there. Alright, then, let's actually drop off, uh, you know, one of my items. In fact, you know, I feel like I could drop off these medicines as well in the, the thing quickly because, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'll need these right now. Alright. So, uh... Let's store you... Hmm, should I keep that on me? Maybe I should. Alright, yeah, we'll leave you in there for now, and I think... Hmm, yeah, do you know maybe I will leave these in here. Who knows, maybe I'll find some more uh, better items. Worst case scenario, I could just take a, uh, you know, bow and arrow ammo I find and just store it in the, the thing for later. But let's have a go at the saw games for this Ashford guy, whatever the fuck his first name was. And let's also grab these Uzis. Yep, they're not loaded, but I guarantee I'm going to find some ammo. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay, that shiny thing over there was ammo for it. Oh no! That ain't no hunter! Whoa. That's no hunter, but it's something, alright. What the fuck is that? Oh my goodness, he can climb downstairs, can't he? Yes, it can! Yay. Please don't touch me! I don't know how you missed me. Okay, nope, you got me that time. The door is locked, can't open it, ow, okay, okay, oh god, I need to use health. He does a lot of damage, oh, come on, man! Yeah, maybe I should just run. Uh, nope. Oh god, it's, uh, what, game, why are you, the door is locked, well, why didn't you say that, game? Oh god. I knew I should have kept the freaking bow and arrow. Yeah, that's that's totally fair. Uh, oh my god, Clint, get down the stairs! Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this guy. Okay, uh, seriously, <laughs> look how much damage he does. Yo, I'm just gonna shoot him. Yo, I am gonna die here because you know what? I want to get my bone arrow. Because pistol's not doing a lot, and I'm finding it hard to dodge this guy. 
Somehow he's struggling to kill me. I'd... Honestly, I was not going to go back and forth to try and kill this guy. Fuck that. That would have been so annoying. Did you drop anything? Okay. Oh. That's convenient. Alright, the door's locked. I can't go back this way. That's lovely. Oh, he came through those shutters over there. I was thinking, like, was there a door here? And I never realised. But yeah, that, that wouldn't have been fun. Coffee going up and down, up and down, just to get a few hits on him. That would have been exhausting. Okay. So okay, he's still alive. Oh, hello, Steven. I was thinking someone was going to save me. Didn't think it would be you. Uh, Steven, you might want to... Wow, okay, Steven. You're a badass, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that felt good. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. I do need those. You wish, but thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here, <laughs> take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal, in exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> yeah, can I please have those? Okay, okay. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes! Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. That's... <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? What do you mean you way up there? And I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow, my back. I mean, we They're could have d boosted in a different way. Hurry up. Happy now? Just one clip. <laughs> oh. What? Now Ash. That your knight has made his appearance. Apples. Join you in your descent into death. Well, Stephen, if we're going to have to live underground, I guess we have to repopulate. So, are we going to like work together? Okay, let's do it. Oh, nice. He's telling Elsa there. Claire. Time to test out my new toy! <laughs> God, his acting is so bad. It sounds like though the actor's having a lot of fun, so <laughs> I can't knock him for that. But, oh! I'm now playing as him. Not what I expected, to be honest. Okay then, but I won't I won't lie, this is oddly satisfying. Nearly out of bullets though. Ooh, a grenade launcher. Someone tells me I'm going to be giving that to uh, a Claire. Uh, can I be used? Wait, what? Oh, okay, and that's ammo for my grenade launcher. Uh, there's a door over here. Let's access it. Alright, Steven, time to prove yourself. All right. Oh, God. I did not mean to walk right into a zombie. I won't lie, that is. That is weirdly satisfying. I'm not gonna. Oh shit! Yeah, that, that is really satisfying. I'm not even gonna deny that. Uh, was there anything over here I could uh, grab? Nope. All right then. Card reader. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I'm guessing this is a map that Claire can have. Erase numbers. Okay. Sorry, I was just mumbling. Now I try and. If it's like small dialogue, I try and like just mumble through it. <laughs> oh. Hi there, face. You look fine today. Uh, a relief of a weird looking face. A hang of bullets in his mouth. Okay, well, I better remember that for Claire. And uh, this looks like something I could walk over. Nope, I guess not. Oh. It was dirty work. 
But this area is now clean. Oh, hey, Claire. See, you can depend on me. You are pretty kick-ass. You see, this thing is a lot more reliable than any person. <laughs> than people? I mean, you wouldn't be able to have had those guns if it weren't for people. Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> Steve. Yeah, well done wasting ammo that you need to fight the zombies. Never mind. Let's get going. First things first, I want to get the bullets out of this lion's mouth. Or not, apparently. It seems like I'm going to be coming back to this area as Claire. Okay, so Steve's another character I play as, and honestly, yeah, he was a, he had some kick-ass skills there. Seems as though him and Claire seem to both be able to dual wield like masters. <laughs> oh, still a bit beaten, apparently. Can I actually just quickly go back? I must follow Steve. Oh, fine. You get it from Steve. You gotta do Steve's laundry. You gotta subscribe to Steve on YouTube. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you should totally do it. Stephen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Maybe Claire is heavier than she looks. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Claire, are you okay? No, I was too heavy. Oh, God. Oh no, one zombie. No. Oh. Oh, you know him, don't ya? Look, he's a zombie now, man. You just. Steve, shoot him! Wait! I. I can't! That's no. his friend, wasn't it? Steve! Elbows. Listen, Steve, friend. Father! Oh. Yeah, maybe be careful there, because you're kind of firing an automatic weapon near Claire. And you just wasted all your ammo, didn't you? Steve. Oof. So anyway, uh, about getting this thing off my foot. Oh, for God's sake, Steve. Steve, Father. don't do it. Father. Father. <laughs> well, this is an <laughs> awkward family reunion. Dad. I used to work for Umbrella. Oh. I tried to steal information, intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. Oh, so not good intentions. Mom was killed, and we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. So, um, should we get a move on now? Because I'm pretty sure with all those gunfires we were shooting off. It's okay now. Just rest. Yeah, like, we've probably attracted a lot of zombies to us. A changed father. Wow, Xbox. A pretty dark sense of humour. Alright, can't drive it. Well, typical. So, uh, how does one get out of here? Large size relief, an imagery appears to be telling a legend. Either it's a story about Jesus, or it looks like a pair of people are docking. Either way, I am not interested. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like it'd be an interacted with. An iron scratch blocking the battery outlet. Okay, yeah, but can I... A lift. Barrier has been removed. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Of course it has. Because why would things be simple? I should leave him alone for now. Okay, you're just going to leave him alone with his dead father? 
You've unlocked the door. Alright, yeah, I guess we're just leaving poor old Steve here. I'm sure he'll be fine. Ooh, we won't be though. Yep, back off, back off. Nope, dude, back off, back off, my friend. Okay, oh, fuck. And there's a lot of zombies attracted to us right now. Maybe because someone decided to unload on his father. Okay, I just realised what I just said. I'm just gonna... Just gonna grab these bullets and move along. Wait, did I? Ah, I kept the medicine with me. I was meant to leave that behind. Oops. Oh, well. Alright, hold on. Before we go down there, anything of... Ah, this is the elevator. Alrighty then. You are on the first floor. Uh, let's go on the bottom floor, because I think that's where um, the lion head was. There we are. Give me those handgun bullets. Thank you. And now we're going to head back up the elevator, because I really want to see if that room I was walking into would have been a safe room. Alright, yes, yes, bottom floor. First floor. Alright then. What is behind door number 15? I've always liked these animations on the doors. I don't know, they add a bit more uh, horror to the game. It seems to be a picture of this room. Very specific. Ooh, hold on a minute. I just saw something else over there. Hello. You look important. So let me guess. I'm going to take it off and then the room's going to lock. Oh. Fair enough. Alright, uh, let's just quickly check it for anything. Nope. An eagle glass holder. The blue portion appears to be made of special ally. Oh. Is this uh, an alloy I can melt down and get past a metal detector? Alright, well it looks like I can also uh, put this in uh What's it called? Uh, the slot that I saw uh, the shield for? Man's portrait is displayed here. Good to know! Alright, I don't know, this looks important. Oh! There's a picture missing! Alright. So there's a red picture that is missing. I better keep an eye out for that then. So it can show me its secrets. No safe room, sadly. That's uh, awkward. Oh, wait a minute. Was that a typewriter? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me quickly go out. I, did I just ignore the typewriter there? Because if I did, I'm going to feel stupid. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a typewriter, but I picked up an um, ink ribbon. It looked like it was right next to a uh, typewriter. It was. Oh my god, I am stupid. Alright, let's just quickly save. Alright then, let's finally check the second floor. Hopefully this doesn't lead me into death. Please do not lead me into death. Or against that one-armed weird looking thing. Okay. Card reader. Well, sadly my card is not made for that one. Have I been here before? It doesn't look like it. Oh no, I did, but with uh, Steve. Seems like I can't descend from here. Well... Oh, wait, we're stuck here, aren't we? Alright, wait, let's check back on the first floor. Yeah, let's check back on the first floor and then uh, we can see if I can uh, go anywhere else. Oh shit! I didn't even, I wasn't even aware this door was unlocked. Oh, this is awkward. Oh god. Oh god, well, I wasn't aware this is somewhere I could go. Um, but why can I go here? Oh shit. Chemical use for gun. Okay, well. Oh shit. Please, no, don't hurt me. I am just an innocent lady. I am an innocent bystander. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay, I thought this was the other way. I didn't realise uh, this was back here. 
This is a hangar part. There is a hangar part placed on the weathers. Cannot be used with... Ah. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe it's with another gun. It looks like a revolver on the screen now. Like a camera for gun maintenance. Alright, well, I got pistol bullets at least. Uh, ooh. Hello. Secured with a simple lock. Well, sadly, I still don't have a lock pick. Alright, that looks like a grenade launch ammo as well. Okay, I thought this door took me down to uh, where Steven was, but evidently I knew it. It was a uh, this door. Alright, let's find our way back to Steven and his dad and let's uh, see if anything triggers. Steven? It is Claire Redfield. Are you still sad? Yeah, he's still sad. Oh yeah, I never tried this door. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about this door right here. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, dog! Sorry, dog. Please stop crying. Just die. Please die. Why won't you die, please? Uh, never feels good killing them. Except when they annoy me. I can it. Oh shit! Another one. Ah uh, yeah. Screw it. Through the doors. If I lock the door, please get through the door and do the dinosaur. Hold on a second. Didn't this take me back to uh, the worm bit? Yep, the worms. Yeah, through the door, through the door. Why won't you? Oh, that was a window. <laughs> Fair enough. Okie dokie, let's just quickly uh, unlock this door. Wait, why did this... Oh yes, I, I locked it before. Alright, uh, is it going to lock again? Okay, it's not going to lock again, thank goodness. <laughs> that would have been annoying. So I guess that was the creature that killed that scientist. Oh, oh god, why are there dogs here now? Ah, stairs! Be my sanctuary! <laughs> Oh, I never actually did check this door. It's locked from the other side, oh, of course. Uh, a relief is carved into the very old. Alright, yeah, whatever. Now, let us place. What? Go. What? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't this go here? Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh, a blue key card. Alright, so it tells me uh, this is for more areas. Alright. Now I'm just going to do a mad dash past the zombie dogs. Excuse me, please don't go near me, please don't bite my butt. I know it's a delicious looking butt, but please do not bite it. Alright, so now we can finally unlock this and uh, hopefully get this goddamn alarm sharp. Alright. Okay, so this one not for here? Hmm. There were some other doors I did see though, so let's just quickly make a mad dash for those. Avoiding tremors out there. Tremor Trevor. I like that nickname, Tremor Trevor. <laughs> Tremor Trevor, please do not nibble on me, despite my delicious looking butt. Where's... Where did Steven go? Steven? Where the fuck did you go, mate? Now this is awkward, but at the same time I couldn't really give a damn. Alright, uh, okay, well let's use you, I don't think I need to use you though. Yeah, because it's already open, so I guess for later on if something goes wrong. Uh, where else did I see um, a door that needed to be open with this? Uh, was it the second floor? I think it was the second floor. Also, I still need to give that uh, security guard that medicine, because he seemed like he was dying. Uh, he's probably dead by now, to be honest. Alright, card reader, yep. Show me your secrets. Oh! That's a bad secret. Okay. They appear to be dead. Alright, what's this? Oh! The albino description. Oh! Wait. Is that it? Oh no! A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics? Ugh! 
Reminds me of those little creatures from the Resident Evil 2 remake, the ones that swam in the sewers. Similar to a normal Albion, an albinoid body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over 7 feet in very short time, frame 10 plus hours. They possess high mobility and they are able to discharge electricity. These characters when they're underwater in their adult form. Hmm. Feel like that's foreshadowing a boss fight. And I'm not looking forward to that boss fight. Oh. Ah, I can't take any more items. God damn it, I need to find a box and drop some things in it. And I also need to give that security guard uh, that medicine. See, uh, he didn't look so good. Okay, ooh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, I don't have any room for days. God damn it. Also, the fact they're giving me green herbs is uh, worrying. And I can't even take these because I have a lot of junk. Alright, you know, screw it. We're going to go to that security guard and drop off some shit to him. Just so I can uh, have room for stuff. Stay away, Trevor Tremor. Tremor Trevors, whatever I nicknamed you. <laughs> Stay away from me, Trevor. I do not want to play with you. Soldier boy, are you still alive? I brought medicine. Oh, he's... Ooh. What are you hey, mate. doing here? Got your medicine. Here you go, my man. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Are you gonna give me something in return? And not in that way. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just Evidently go. not. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. Oh. You might need it later on. Now go. It's Don't a worry. butt plug. Okay. Ooh, lot picks. Finally, we got the lot picks. All right, we can actually go back and unlock some things now, including a certain briefcase. Oh no! 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 Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get into a mansion now? Freaking stretchy armed Magui is. Oh god. Oh god. Tremor, Trevor, and I'm dead. Okay, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, tits. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, to be honest. Ah. Uh... Alright, well, I'm sure I'll improvise is what I usually do. I just tend to wing it. It usually works out. Sometimes. Right then, so wasn't this one of the... Right, wasn't this one of the things I had to lockpick? Uh, so a simple lock? Aha! Uh -huh. And it's just explosive arrows. I mean, I don't hate them, but they're not exactly a priority right now. Also, we might as well... Uh drop these guns in here because I don't really think I need these guns on me and plus I can just re-get them at the uh, mansion. Uh, right, you know, I probably should get my bow and arrow. And here we go. Wait, no. Let's get you. There we go. Uh, anything else we need? I don't think so. Alright. And do you know what? I might as well leave this here. Oh, wait a minute. One thing I've always enjoyed about the Resident Evil games is, like, deciding what things I should carry with me. Like, what seems important, what doesn't. Which I've always kind of liked. It adds a bit of, like, strategy to your uh, gameplay. Why not? Oh, I need to combine up some of the arrows first. Right. Okay, that kind of... Oh, so I'm... Right. I get it now. I'm not. Maybe I'm not supposed to be using all these arrows. I'm meant to be combining them with. Ah, oh, maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be combining my arrows with what I find for them. Okay. Do you know what? I think that actually makes more sense now that I think about it. Maybe these weren't designed to be used like, you know, pistol ammo. I, I guess they could be. Hmm, you know, in that case, since I am running a bit low on my regular pistol ammo, I think I will take them. 
Alright, let's just quickly save up and we'll be resuming with our mission. No tremor, no tremor, Trevor, no tremor, Trevor, don't do it, tremor, Trevor! <laughs> Something tells me I can probably kill this thing, but I probably don't want to waste ammo doing it. You know, I just get the feeling that will be bad. Also, do you want to just quickly take those arrows? Nice. And then get through the door before the dog nibbles on your button. Hmm, never did check in this door. Lock has been released. Oh, where does this lead to? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Does this lead to where I think it does? Oh, for God's sake. Well, it's good to know later on. This is why you need to pay attention to your environment, kids. Because you end up missing vital information like that. Alright, I'm going to take you and then something bad's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen. Huh. That went well. Okay, so I've gotten these plates. What can I do with them? Oh. Hmm. Army proof. Let me check it. A hex shaped stone object. A picture of a jeep is carved into it. Hmm. Could it be for the jeep? Hmm. You know, I don't know. Where have I seen a hexagon like shape? Huh. Shut up, dog. I'm thinking. Hmm. Let me check by that Jeep I saw. Maybe there was something I was missing there. Could it be hinting for that Jeep? Let's give it a whirl. I can't, really, I can't remember if there was a hexagon thing. I might have to go back to my YouTube video uh, when I uploaded the first one to see if uh, there was a hexagon shape I might have missed. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's why I need the elevator moving, so I can uh, just cross the bridge, right. Okay. Please, Tremor Trevor, please don't come after me. Rear to you as well. Oh, God, he's coming. I really do not like Tremor Trevor. <laughs> and I get the feeling he's going to be in more areas. Okay, let's... There we go. Aha! What do you know? So you guys are not good against the crossbow with fire. <laughs> Alright, crossbow, you're slowly becoming my favourite again. <laughs> now that I've realised I shouldn't have been wasting you all on those zombies. Uh, any more of you one-armed uh, guys coming at me? They really remind me a lot of the G-Virus monster. Like the one that uh, William Birkins turns into. Which I nicknamed one arm Willy. Ooh! Oh! It appears there's some zombies. Oh, God. Yep, just get stuck on the stairs, mate. God damn it, mate. Come on, just die. Nope, get down the stairs, mate. Okay, first things first, let's head upstairs and uh, do a bit of a shive. How do zombies even get in the- <laughs> You piece of shit! You're just- So I don't run into you again. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> that was cheap, game. That was cheap. Alright, but I'm also going to save here, given the fact now there are zombies swarming about. But now we can also unlock this door with these uh, pistols. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you know what? I feel like I should carry extra weaponry on me too. Alright, first things first. Let's carry... I feel like carrying those on me. And I might not need this keycard for now. So I think I'm going to also leave this here. I am actually running low on ammo, I will admit. I'm, that, is, that is a little bit concerning. So uh, let's just do a quick save. Okay then, now let's see what's behind door number gold. Yep, yes, I see it. Let's put you guys in there. No, not equipped. Use. There we go. The lock has been released. Noise. And let's actually combine you to get some... Wow, I am so low on ammo. It's actually scary. <laughs> It'd be scary. Well, this place has seen better days. Also, thanks for more pistol ammo. Whew. Okay, so... An old photo stands in place here. 
Okay, also there seems to be something missing up there. But it has been used recently. Okay. Antique music box. Okay, that seems like it's going to play some importance. Alright. Anything of importance? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Is this the picture? Ah, I can't take it. I'm going to look there in a second. I just want to see if there's anything else I need to grab here. That could be used. Man, this place looks like it's torn apart. And that window looks like something's going to smash through. There's no power going to it. Why is it on then? Turn on computer. Oh god, this thing again. I swear to god, this is some weird messed up porno I do not want to watch. Ugh. We bang, okay. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. Is it the music from this? Okay, well, I don't know the password, but clearly that's what the music box is going to be used for. Something's written on the mirror. First digit, left, right. Second digit, left. Third, right. Fourth digit, right, right, right. You must not reset while maneuvering. Okay, then, so I'm guessing that's the code for uh, this. God damn it. Alright, uh, let me just look at that note again. Uh, file. Alright. Alright, is this it? No, that's not it. User manual, no. Uh, no, not you. Prisoner's diary, no. No, where did I save that note? Oh wait, is it, is it just left on the table? Alright. So, left, right. Left, right. Right, right, right. Alright, left, right. Left, right, right, right. Let's try this. Alright, so... Left. Okay. Right. Left. Right. No. Ah! Oh, for... I thought it was going to be selected. Alright. Let's try that again. Alright. Left. Right. Left. Right, right, right. Somehow I feel like that wasn't right. Alright, let me look at the password again. How many passwords was it? So I've got to remember the number. Okay, so. How many numbers can I put in? Okay, so it's definitely those. Uh, okay. Left, right, left, right. Oh, right. Left, right, left, right, 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 right. Alright. Sorry if I'm taking too long at this. I'm just bad at remembering. Left. Right. Left. Right once, right twice, right twice, and right twice. I'm not sure if that's how it works. You said? I feel like I'm not doing it right. Left. Alright, so. There's three. One. Nine, seven, why do I feel like I'm doing this wrong? Oh, okay, so I get it. So to find the first digit, you need to press left, right. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Okay, I get it, okay. So the first digit, 
Alright, I didn't pay attention to the first bit. Alright, so left. Right, okay, so that's one. Then we press, um... Left, I think it was. Alright, so 19. Right. Seven, then right three times. So 19... Alright, so 197. Alright, I'm not sure if I did that completely right. So, 1971. Alright, let's try that. So, where's my gun? Why is my gun not equipped? I just realised that. I'm just dangling and emptying off. Alright, 1971. Alright. So, one, nine, one. Is that correct? Oh. Oh. Yes, this is the theme tune. Oh, goodness, and they're down there as well. Aha! D <laughs> oh, you freak. Nope, I am just gonna quit to you. Yep, please die. <laughs> I was so focused on the puzzle, I didn't even consider the fact that, uh, you know, that window is sticking out. <laughs> Whew. Okay, then. <laughs> that, okay, do you know what, Code Veronica? You haven't scared me yet. That was a good scare. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is lovely. Have I? No, I have my gun equipped. It just looked like I didn't. That, that actually got me, I'm not even going to lie. Hmm. Hold on, before we go up there, I feel like I should have a look around for uh, any areas that had a, a lockpick. Uh, I can't remember them all, though. You know what, now nah, screw it. It's probably just for those ammo bits. I can't even get the grenade launcher anyway now, so... I'm sure we'll come back later. To the castle of death. To the castle of death. And that laughter didn't help with that feeling. I got a feeling I'm going to be going up into this castle and dying. It's not going to be a good night. Ugh. That, uh, that cubus is... <laughs> Fucking hell, really? Oh, wow, really? That is... That is cheap. Oh, wow, really? Come on, game. Hey, I hit... Oh, my God. You're making me waste all my ammo. What? Why'd you miss it? He's right in front of you. You... Are you fucking serious? Oh, where's it going to restart me? Yo, while we're here, let's just quickly look around with my lockpick at hand. Oh, my God. Okay then, you cheap little bastards, round two. And I've got my bow and arrow equipped this time. And I'm going to kick your ass. And yep, inside the loft. I'm guessing that's Veronica. Just a hunch. Okay. So I'm guessing the heartbeat that I feel on my controller must be indicating that these guys are on the other side. Alright. Nope, not this time. Not this time, mate. Also, I should probably look into that guy's mouth and see if he has anything for me. Nothing. You know, it's been a while since I've actually found uh, herbs. It's uh, actually discomfort. Okay. Oh, no, 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 come on, get off. There we go. Oh, God. Still in caution. That's <laughs> not great, but it's not bad either. Alright. Creepy stone statues are lined up here. Probably for a puzzle later on. No, in this game. Oh, hold on a minute. What's this? Hold on. Looks like something I can interact with here. No? Yeah, looks like it. Or maybe this game's just, uh, doesn't have many things that stick out unless it's shining that I just assume whatever's on the floor I can just interact with. Oh. I can feel my controller vibrating. And not in a way I'm sure a woman would like it to be. Oh. 
slower build up than usual. That sounds like bats. I'm just going to get my pistol ready because this seems like the best course to use for them. Yep, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So, oh, fuck off, bats. Please don't kill me to. Please don't let bats be the thing that kill me. Okay, I think I got them all. Nope! Goddamn bats. Alright, there's nothing useful in this here. Oh, God, still in caution. That's not bad. Also, who's playing the piano? Who's who's playing my tune? My tune of death? They're a lot more likely to the residents. Eh, most likely. Alright, I should probably actually check up the stairs first and find out there's a safe room there. Okay, ooh, some pistol ammo here, though. That's always a good thing. Alright. Okay, some more ammo. What a mess. Yeah, do you want to have step over the mess? Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Listen, I'm not going to try and maneuver around these guys. I's killing them. No dispute. Oops. So I was meant to combine you with that. And then re equip you. I'm actually running low on uh, explosives. Please be explosive bolts. Nope. Just regular bolts. Still good, I suppose. In that case, then, actually, to save my pistol ammo, I'm going to equip you and combine you. Because this thing does do good against zombies, to be fair. Oh, more ink ammo. Uh, ink ribbon, nice. I want to admit, I, I always kind of like the ink ribbon save mechanic. Adds a bit more challenge to the game. Kind of wish it was in the Resident Evil 3 remake. It was in the second remake, but never the third one. Bit weird. Some armor's displayed here. It appears to be very old, nothing unusual. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, anytime I see those big guys, oh, I'm just killing straight away. That sh that freaking scorpion, get over here thing is not that great to fight against. I don't like that little thing there. In fact, I don't even like these gargoyle looking things. It appears to be I can't pass through here. Well, that's typical. Yeah, doesn't doesn't that stick out a little bit in a I'm gonna transform and kill you type of way? Also, <gasps> is that health? Oh my god! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ah, finally, it's been a while since I found health. Actually, it's actually great. But please be a safe one at the end of this door, please and. I think I can dispose of my items. Keep focused, brother. Our Ooh. enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia. But I have been doing my best. Alexia? The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? Uh oh. So Alexa. The okay, so sh Alexia. N so nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Also, I saw some bullets on that table there. Yeah, I want those. Okay, so she's not Veronica like I originally thought. So this doll's a little creepy. Last adult, possibly custom made. <laughs> Good attention to detail. Let's just uh, grab these. Alright, I'm getting more pistol bullets, but I think I want to stick to my bow and arrows basic ammo for now. Okay, ugh, man, these are these things are creepy looking. And why do I get the feeling they're gonna come to life and choke me to death? Safe room. These don't look like no safe room. Extinct furnishing decorate area. There's nothing useful here. Well, when is there ever, ever anything useful? Alright then. Uh, a letter? Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexa Ashfield. Okay then. 
Hmm. Okay, so what's your code Veronica? Like, what is that? The music box is locked. So it's been pulled out. A blue sapphire is embedded into your opening. Ooh. Do you know what? Ah, no. Okay, so unfortunately it's not what... I was thinking I had a blue one. No, I had green. Okie dokie. Wait, I wonder. Okay, no. I, I don't know why I was thinking that. <laughs> Doesn't green and red make blue? Am I just thinking of another colour? Alright, let's uh, look down this way now. Where did I even disappear to? Oh, green herbs! Thank you! Ah, oh, gimme, gimme! Alright, I'm gonna stick those in there, the box, until I keep them in there until I find. I'll oh, feel heartbeat. Until I find red herbs. Oh dear. I'm just waiting for a jump scare at one point to come through here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is unnerving. The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something's written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path returns. Maybe I'll explore a little bit first. There are gorgeous furniture in here. Nothing useful. Why is that mirror shattered? Also... I see a ladder up here. The whole ceiling has been sealed. I get the feeling I shouldn't stop this music. But I see no other option, really. Oh, another logo. A key! Also, I see this. Music box is locked. Music is out of place. Okay, let's try putting you. No? Okay. Ah, oh, but I have no room for it. Ah, uh, I'm going to have to sacrifice this. <sighs> Doesn't give me much health. Sad. Alright then. Oh, it's a silver one. Let me check it. Made of pure silver. The actual family crest is carved into Okay, so maybe I can take this back to the mansion. Okay then. Nothing bad happened, question mark. Okay. I was certain something was gonna happen that would have been bad. But I guess not. Also, how egotistical are these guys that they each have, like, their own castle. I don't know, man. That's uh, a wee bit egotistical there, Alexa, and uh, whatever your name was. I can't remember. The the other brother. The one that I think wants to pork his sister. That's headcanon to me now. Okay, so let's head back on to uh, the little brother's house and see what this key is used for. Assuming I don't die halfway there. On the road again. Sing it with me, Claire. On the road again. To save my brother. And potentially fight Alfred. I tell you what, I should probably say that. The only thing I do know about this game. I think I said this in part one as well. The only thing I know is that... Oh yeah, I never killed the guy. Did. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I know about this game is that um, Alfred is in it. It reveals how he survived against the tyrant. But uh, so far... Nothing's been kind of revealed to me. Alright, and you know what? Maybe I should leave these here. Because nothing's really happened where I've needed them. And as risky as it is, I'm thinking I might leave my knife here as well. So I never really needed it when I was playing as Chris uh, in Resident Evil's uh, 1 remake. So maybe I don't need it here either. Question mark. Alright, let's just quickly save. Alright then. Now we've got a silver key. Can I unlock all the doors in this mansion? At least the silver ones. Alright, first get rid of you, because you're in my way. Please don't grab my foot. There we go. Oof, right at the back of the head, mate. 
Right. Can I unlock you? It's not. Yes! The lock has been released. Alright! Just seriously, who has their own castle for the Like, There's a thing about having your own bed. There's another about having your own castle. <gasps> also, I see explosive rounds there. Yes, I see you. I don't know why they would have this on a gambling table. I guess someone really had an explosive gambling problem. Also, did I really forget to leave some of those, leave the ink ribbons back in my safe? Alright, well, first things first. Uh, combine you. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Combine. Yeah, let's just quickly run back and uh, drop some things off. Slot machines. One of them is. One of them is turned on. Hmm. Obviously, someone's been gambling, or that's supposed to be used for something. Oh god, don't tell me we're getting another piano puzzle. So it reads out... Wait, what? An antique grand piano. It is designed so it reads out data. Who designs a piano like that? Oh, that again, they did have those pianos in the first game where it was meant to read out, uh, you know, <laughs> the password to a secret door. Okay then, but so far I'm not getting any indication of what I'm supposed to do in here. All right, well maybe it will come back. Maybe it will come to me uh, down the line. But there are more doors we need to unlock, so let's just drop off some of these herbs and then let's get exploring. All right, house, reveal to me your secrets. All right, I'm pretty sure there are some doors here I can't unlock. Let's try and save our ammo. No, come on, mate, get around that pillar, there we are, thank you. Also, is it just me or do a lot of these moaning zombies sound like Tina from Bob's Burgers who goes, uh, when she's nervous? Alright, can I unlock you? Yes. Alright. Oh, I don't need the key now? Okay. If I don't need it anymore, I don't need it anymore. The game says so. Oh, no, Dr. Pepper. Okay. Ow, God, fucking hell. Cheap! Cheap! And I'll show you cheap, you bastard. Oh, you want to play too, mate? Yeah. How about no? How's that? Yeah. Ooh. There's another emblem down there. Strange. Alright, before I pick up that emblem, because that tells me something bad's going to happen, let's pick up this note that stands out. Hunk's report. Hunk! Okay, Mr. Alfred Ashford has some to. Ugh. Mr. Alfred, head. Oh my God, what's going on with my reading? Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of facility. Today at 4:32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base from the large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during the transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed a uh, condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in the freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why are we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? Mm, a hunch, or a hunk in this case. Potentially a BOW is in there? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the, con and the contents, of safety would be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information, should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training centre. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at uh, 11 o'clock. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Okay then, so Hunk uh, is being referenced. Hunk was actually kind of a cool character in the remakes. Ugh, I hate the way they're pulsating. Okay then, so... I got another eagle plate. Okay, but why? What use would I have for this? Uh, oh no, let's check it. Regret an eagle glass to hold it. Eagle glass appears to be made in a special alloy. Fair enough, but again, what use does this have for me? Is there anything else in here I'm missing? Oh, well, there's bullets over here. I could definitely use that. But yeah, it's uh, not really being clear what I need to use these for. Also, I am going to switch to my pistol now, because I've got plenty of ammo for it. 
Hmm. Is there somewhere else where I needed a plate? Huh. The mystery unravels even further. Actually, no, it doesn't. I'm still confused. I can't go through here. Alright, I need a gold key for you. Hmm. I wonder. I want to quickly check. Can I melt this down into an alloy? This is something I'm wondering. Because maybe I, this could have been a case where I could have melted it down into an alloy. Oh yeah, because there's a gold thing inside of it, isn't there? Uh, check. Yeah, I actually found a quest. An eagle glass of gold Helberg. You go, what should be made of a special alloy? Could this... Could I melt this down and get the, the alloy in it? Is that secretly a key? And I could have just so happened to have used it that one time. I could use it in two instances. I could have used the one that I found before or this one to get it. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I'm thinking that is the case. Let's give it a whirl. If not, then I will sleep on it because I have been playing for nearly two hours now. Most of the footage is just going to be me running around. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly see if I can take this with me for the metal detector and uh, see if I can remove its alloy. Oh! Hello, zombies! I thought I killed all of you here. I appear to be wrong. Are you dead? Yes, you are. You are not dead, though. Just back off over here, mate. Damn, I missed. Damn, I missed. I missed that time. Come on. Okay. Oh, fuck off, mate. No. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there an emblem shape here? <gasps> there was! Okay, then. So it wasn't for the use I thought it was. It was... Oh! Uh, do you know what? This might seem like a waste, but... Yeah, I don't fancy wasting all my bullets, so... Ah. I was hoping that would get you in the crossfire, but... This works, too. Save me bullets. There we go. Uh, mate, really? Phew! I'll be honest here, if that's all it took to open the door with the guillotine, why didn't I just, uh, I don't know, just cut the rope and let it drop? Don't mean to be critical, I'm just saying that would be the most ethical of ideas. Oh god. Haha! -ha, I remember the explosive. Uh, anything down here? There is a door. I will go through door. Alright then. Getting used to this game now. Oh god, not a morgue. And it's giving me bullets. Why would a nurse or a medic need bullets unless it was something bad? Oh god, can you just pick up the herbs or the spray, whatever? Oh god. Okay, he's not breathing. Not now, anyway. Okay. Body bag's been left here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a body bag, body bag for long. Yeah, what did I say? Oh, <laughs> I knew. I knew either the body bag or that corpse was going to move. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. Ah. Why wouldn't... Why would this place need an infirmary? Actually, no. You know, given the fact they deal with bioweapons every day here, no, it actually makes sense why they keep a infirmary here in case uh, one of their colleagues got infected. Bit messed up, but I can understand the effort, the reason for it. Oh, God. I always forget about the quick turn. Oh. Thanks for going towards the door, mate. Fuck off. Okay, oh my goodness though, that's so messed up. They like chain them to it and then they just drop them in the furnace. That's messed up. Couldn't a simple bullet to the head work and then you burn them? Just saying. Seems like it's a lot of effort to kill one zombie or infected when you could just easily just kill them with a gun. Okay, more bullets here. 
Alright, this game definitely encourages a more action uh, than the previous games. Like, in the first game, you could honestly get away with not killing as many people uh, to get by. This game doesn't seem to be the simple, the same case. Ah, nice. And if I check you and lock pick, yep, simple lock, and it is ooh. Okay, attachments for the ooh. Okay, so if we combine you, nice. It looks like Matilda from uh, Leon's gun. Okay, but as useful as this is, though, this doesn't really. Oh my goodness! Look at the. It's a strangely shaped chair. Yeah, look at the size of that electric chair. Is that for a kid? Okay, yeah, though, as as useful as this was, though, it doesn't feel like I was actually meant to come this way. I signed a gun upgrade. What else do I gain from this? But you know what? I've been playing this game for a long time now. So we're going to end off this episode here. It's getting interesting. I'm getting more into it now. A lot of footage I'm going to have to cut through because most of this is just me running around. But I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. I'm getting into it now. Um, but of course my friend Jairu said there were definitely some hiccups along the way. So I am curious to see where those hiccups are. But I'm enjoying this. It is a lot of fun. A bit frustrating at the start but I'm getting into it now. So thank you all so much for watching, if you're enjoying this series be sure to share it around, get the channel growing, and stick around on this channel, we'll have more content for you in the future. Farewell everybody. Uh, I don't know why, uh, as I stepped towards this door, as I ended this video, uh, there was a heartbeat and that was, that was worrying. I don't like the fact there's a heartbeat. Ooh. You know, I never did explore this room here. Anything of importance in here? Uh, there's a note here. Uh, there is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony with the demon next to me. I enjoy watching people agonise in pain, screaming and causing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me and has given me the facilities, chemicals and equipment necessary for, to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear the basement of this medical building will be kept secret. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell what it is, the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. Hmm, ugh. An elaborate model of a human body. Something seems to be missing. An eye? Um. I don't suppose you happen to have the key. Are you the crazy doctor? Oh, goodness, yeah. Something's. Oh, great. And you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. Okay then, the zombie was holding something, and it, I'm guessing it's an eye. Yep. <laughs> Just when I thought I was ending this video, the game decided, oh wait, no, there's more uh, you need to do before you hit the next save point. Okay, it's missing an eye, let's put in that eye. Ugh. Well, that's nightmare fuel. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run to a save point before I resume here. Farewell, everybody.